What's up, Freak Team? I just want to talk about real quick, just a quick check-in, quick update, and a quick acknowledgement and just how it goes about remote working, about working from home, and the challenges you might be facing, the things you might be going through. I understand it can become stressful. You can have some anxiety. Maybe you're d distracted. So first of all, some of the problems that you're going to come across, and I understand these things are going to happen because I've had them happen to me in the past, and I've figured ways to overcome them and get past them. First thing is you're going to be missing because you're used to the face-to-face, -face, the in-person interaction, both with the members, with the other coaches, with each other. You're going to miss that face-to-face -face interaction, which is, why, which is why it's important to get on the Zoom workouts, even if the ones you're not coaching, to get on there, just to be around the other people, get that at least sense of community and connection. And that goes right into social isolation is another problem you're going to have where you just feel just locked up. You're just alone and, and at home and you start digging yourself into a deep pit. Again, the same reason is to get onto the Zoom, Zoom calls. Make the most of your own Zoom calls. Make sure everyone knows who your calls are. Invite the members. Tag them. Get them to show up. Get that social interaction with them. And a, and a way to do that is think about before... And after the session, that time before and after, use that time before and after the session to not even talk about the gym. Just talk about personal stuff, talking to the members, talking to each other. And if you're meeting each other for a Zoom call, we have our leadership Zoom every morning and admin has their Zoom every morning or however many times they do it now as we're doing this. But we still have a Zoom every morning. We've been doing this now for over a year. So this Zoom thing is nothing new to us. So we kind of have that down. It's part of the routine that you need to start doing is make this part of the routine. Make this a structured thing, part of your daily check-ins with each other, with the members. Make it structured daily. And that's why debriefs, that's why we've always done debriefs. These are all fail-safes when times were good so that when no matter what happens, you just keep going business as usual, which is why we always had daily Zoom calls, why we always have debriefs. So this is a more, the most important time to have a structured daily check-in, which is your daily debrief, maybe a daily check-in from you personally, a voice Quick voice shot on the Voxer page. Just a quick shot. How are you doing for that day? What's going on? What are you struggling? What concerns you have? Right there on the Voxer to the entire team. Now, of course, if it's something that's an emergency, Voxer is not going to be the way to go. Just literally text or call me personally to my personal, to my actual phone. If it's something a little more significant or something you need personal help with or an emergency, whatever it is, always just call and text a personal number. But you, boxers should be getting used more than ever because you need to continue to have that team connection, that social connection with each other. You need to continue to have that social connection with the clients. That's more interaction on the VIP page. And if you notice, a lot of these things are things we've been constantly talking about that probably weren't even getting done enough in the old times. And now during times like this is when they're necessary, they're needed, and there's no other option to do these as, as a new way of doing things, a structured new way of doing things. So realize that also that when you're at home, you're gonna, you can get distractions at home when you're working from home. And that's also, we understand that. I, I've had that happen to me, of course. Everyone's had that happen. So the first thing to do is have a dedicated workspace. When you're doing work, besides training, so have your dedicated workout space, maybe one or two spots where you know exactly where your camera is going to be. It's dedicated for your training sessions. But if you're doing additional work, making phone calls, doing admin work, whatever else, have a dedicated workspace where you're just surrounded in your zone, in your zone of genius, and you could just focus, lock onto the target. I have my dedicated workspace. I have my dedicated thinking space. I have my dedicated stretching space. I have dedicated recording space, like this is one of them, and then another, and then one outside, and also one at the desk, depending on what type of video I'm doing, who I'm doing the video. Four, I'll have three dedicated recording spaces. So dedicate space so you, when, you, when you go there, you're not distracted and thinking about a million other things. And if you have kids, a spouse, a partner, a goat, whatever you have, you need to have these discussions with them about when it's work time, it's work time. But also, when it comes to the work schedule, when it comes to working, also understandable, realize that there's much more flexibility in the schedule working remotely. It's actually, think of it, it's, to me, it's a, it's a gift. It's not like a struggle. It's not a curse. Think, that's where you need to start reframing this stuff. Thinking of the solutions. Like being able to work at the times that you need to. Obviously, when there's sessions, that, that's, that's stuff that's fixed. It has to be done at that exact time. 
But you have flexibility. If, if your, your kids need help with something at a certain time for school, you're going to do your work at a different time. You're going to have that understanding and have that talk with them or your spouse or whoever else about what, what you need to do, when you need to get it done, how you need to focus. You have to be distraction free so you can get shit done. So you need to, again, I acknowledge it. I know that it happens. You get stressed. You get ang- anxious. It builds up. You get stir crazy. You start spinning in circles. You end up wasting so much mental and physical energy. Structure your day. Structure your daily check-ins with each other. Do a, a daily check-in. That's why I did it today at the Team Boxer. Just a quick little pop. Quick little a shot in there. I'll, I'll do a, and a voice. Even a voice shot even better. So you can actually talk and hear each other. And have that connection with the entire team. With each other as a group. You need to establish this stuff. Establish these kind of rules of engagement. Rules of engagement with your family. Rules of engagement with your kids. Rules of engagement with our communication with each other. And because you, you can event, you can feel that you're missing out on information. You're not getting enough information. Your lack of information because we're not in person and you're not seeing each other that often. The way to combat that is, again, this is why we have all these systems and processes into the place and why we're able, to, we, we, we should be able to seamlessly transition into this remote working from home and training and coaching from home system for the most part is because this is all the stuff we've been doing that it's, it's a system and process in place that can keep going and keep working. So how do you not miss out on information and not have a lack of information? Well, it starts off with the Monday morning email. Make sure you're reading it, reading it again and again if you need to. If you have questions about it, reach out to me, ask me a question about it. You have to do that. That's like massive amounts of information and help for you Every single week, guaranteed. And that's daily, that's structured weekly. You know exactly that it's coming every Monday. That's the first thing. Lack of information is when you see videos like this. Make sure you're watching the entire video, not scanning through it. Sitting down, focusing, watching it, taking notes. Because you can't then say there's lack of information or lack of communication or you don't know what's going on or whatever. When there's so many channels out there. Lack of information is also can be from on the Facebook group doing your daily debriefs. See, all this stuff comes together to the way we've been operating, the way we've been structuring things, the way that we've been structuring the day and the week and just the the gym and the business in general. It's, It's exactly how we've been doing it. It's just now it's time to buckle down and actually freaking do it and not make any excuses why stuff isn't getting done. Like this is what it's gonna take right now because the, the, the freezes, the cancellations are, are in and there's a lot of them and we're going to have to make some changes here coming up. So things again are going to get harder and get worse before they get better. So this is why I wanted to do this video now ahead of time before we have to even make some additional changes and whatever else because it's, it's a crazy time. But you need to be able to focus and lock in because when you're working from home and you're working remotely, you should be technically able to get 10 times more shit done if you structure the right way because you are just focused and locked in. And I've been working from home for, I don't even know, four years now and I can get so much done when I'm in my work space, my undistracted work space because I'm in that work frame of mind and I could just attack it and drive and, and kill. That's what I, you, the way you have to think about it. And it all comes down to getting structured, putting, having those conversations with the people around you that You need this time and block this time to get shit done, to get the work you need to get done. So again, don't, if you're struggling with the fate, lack of face-to-face interaction, if you're struggling with lack of information, if you're struggling with social isolation, if you're struggling with distractions at home, just follow all these things that we're talking about here. The things that we've always been doing that you should be doing. Get on the Zoom calls. Read the Monday morning email and respond to it. Do a daily check-in voice message on Voxer to the entire team. Check in on each other, one-on-one with the entire team, maybe once a week. Put it on your checklist to check in with every single person on the team. If every one of you is checking with each other once a week, in addition to that daily quick little voice shot, hey, what's going on, how's everyone doing? This is what I'm dealing with today. Has anyone, does anyone have an idea how I could better get at this? Whatever it is, whatever it is. Just a daily check-in on Boxer, I think would be huge for you to take care of those four, four different areas that you might be struggling with when it comes to remote working from home. Also, let's let's talk talk about like a noise thing or too much noise, especially early morning sessions. Listen, you don't have to be screaming to get be infectious with your energy. You'd be like, you could be literally here at like five in the morning, and you know that you you're it's too noisy around. You can't go too crazy. 
like, listen, freaks, it's, it's five in the morning. My, my landlord has been harassing me for like two weeks already. They're ready to kick me out. I'm about to be homeless during this virus, but that's not going to stop me from bringing the freaking energy to you. Let's do this right now. You are freaking awesome. What we're going to do first, the exercise is going to go boom, boom, boom. I'm going to be right here with you every step of the way. So you can still have that without having to scream and project your voice. You can still bring it. You can still bring the fire in whatever way you need to. Not whispering, just Maybe toning it down a drop if you had to. That's if you had to. And you know what? Which, which, which the land, what's, the, what's the landlord's going to do, really? What are they really going to do? They're not even allowed to kick people out of houses right now. It's like illegal to, to kick people out, even if, they, even if they're not even paying their rent or their mortgage, they're not even allowed to kick people out right now. So that's besides the point. So just use these strategies and tactics, the things we've been putting into place over these years. They're there. Everything, the structure and the processes are there to help you out and get through this time. Use them, utilize them, implement them, and don't skim over stuff like this video, like other videos. Those, oh my God, it's another 10 minute video. Oh my God, it's another 15 minute video. Embrace and focus on every single second of those videos. That's the way you need to be doing this stuff. Stay in contact with each other. Check in with the team every single day. Check in with each other at least once a week or every other day, whatever it is, without overdoing it. That's, have rules of engagement. Have a plan of how you're going to do, how you're going to check in. Of course, get your daily debrief and get more detailed on it, on the daily debrief. Get more granular on there. See, look, we were just recently talking about a whole discussion for like 30 minutes on the daily debrief, which it's, it's such a, a two-minute thing that it takes. And we want to water it down. We want to dummy it down. And now look, a time like this is a time where that thing should be detailed, should be spending time on it. That's why we put these pieces into place because they're timeless. They are crisis-lessness in these different things we do. The things we put into place are, are the way that things can continue to get done, like beats, keeping your beats down, bop, 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 bop. So when a, a virus comes along, bop, 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 bop. A hurricane comes along, bop, a snow day, bop, bop, bop. Just got cut out for a second. So if you're struggling with any of those problems, reach out, talk to each other, connect with each other, check in with each other, get some FaceTime on the calls, if you're meeting with each other in person, if you're meeting with, with each other in person, then, I mean, uh, uh, in person on Zoom, like you're having a Zoom call, take, get on there five, 10 minutes early, just, just to bullshit, just to talk, just to catch up, and say five, 10 minutes after, just to recap and talk and bullshit socially, like zero work talk. That's, that's when you need to start thinking about this. Like, this is our new reality, and we're gonna make the most of it, we're gonna make it happen, because I am confident that we will get through this, we will make it happen no matter how much harder things get, and with the amount of freezes and cancellations, things are going to have to get a little tightened up and a little harder. And we're figuring that out this weekend and I'll update you as soon as possible. But I know that we got this, that we got this. And I know that it's going to be hard, but I know it's nothing that we can't handle. I know this is nothing that there's people out there that aren't handling things a thousand times worse than things like this, than what we're dealing with, just being stuck at home and having to work and whatever. We have less hours or less whatever. We are going to make this happen. Rewatch this video if you need any clarification on anything, any clarity on it, just send me a message or to get on that Voxer. Do those Voxer voice check-ins once a day. Quick couple seconds, stay connected. And now all this stuff will start clicking in your head why we have been doing things the way we've been doing them. It's been explained many different ways, but this is like a real life way, a real life example of why we've been doing things, how we've been doing them. This shows you exactly why for exactly times like this. So embrace this stuff, implement it, Keep kicking ass. You are freaking awesome. If you have any questions, need help with anything, let me know. I will talk to you later. No excuses.